guys welcome back to my channel my name is Jen I am the urban sewist and this is the urban sewing society where we bring fashion and creativity to your neighborhood welcome to my part two of exploring Toronto and thrifting in Toronto earlier this year hope you guys enjoy it just wanted to share with you some of the great spots that I ate at and a couple of the places that I went thrifting um, Toronto is a great place for thrifting and consignment shopping so I strongly recommend it if you haven't been definitely go and check it out I went to this really great coffee shop and it was such a minimalist type of coffee shop they didn't have a lot of extra things they had one little shelf with teas and coffee a little place for you to sit down and they really focus on tea and coffee and the line honestly was out the door I also passed by Le Labo uh, they were closed but I did go back the next day and then I also was able to wear my thrifted jumpsuit that some of you guys saw in an earlier video uh, I went to see the Dave Chappelle um, concert or his performance there and then the next day I went shopping I went thrifting of course after getting some great vegetarian breakfast and if you have a chance check out fresh they the service is so good just everything the ambiance all of it it was just great this food I wish I could just go and get it every day that I was in Chicago because everything tastes so good and it was more food than I could imagine again I did get back to Lalabo and I was able to smell a lot of the fake fragrances and explore the shop and ask some questions and I really really love this fragrance I didn't buy anything but I do love the fragrance and now we are headed out to the Rift shop The first stop was Value Village Boutique, and this place is huge. It looks small from the outside, but it actually is really large. They have an upstairs and downstairs. Everything is organized by type. So your shoes are all upstairs on the side walls, and then you have coats and jackets. You have blouses and skirts all separated out. Um, I found some pretty unique items. I didn't buy anything, but I definitely saw some things that looked interesting. I like to see what people are wearing in other countries and other parts of the world. And I feel like you can always find, you know, something that's unique to that particular culture. They had a huge section with jackets and coats. Um, for men, they had a huge section for jackets and coats for women. So I thought that was good too because, you know, I always promote shopping in the men's section. Sometimes you can find some great things there.
I continued to um, shop and go upstairs and see what they had in the women's section upstairs. I found some great skirts. I just didn't have enough room in my luggage to really bring anything back. And so, yeah, that kind of, you know, I, I had to cut back a little bit. But I did enjoy looking at all of the really nice pieces. They actually had some newer items there. And I think that maybe there might be some stores that donate items. And so there was a section that had newer items. This is the view from upstairs. And as you can see, it's a nice long store. The only style that matters is yours. I love that. I saw this dress, you guys. Don't ask me why I did not just bring it home with me. I totally could have used that, but I left it. Uh, then I headed back downstairs to just take one more look around at some of what they had in this front section of the store. Um, they had some really cute bomber jackets, and I didn't get it. Now I'm headed into a consignment store that was right down the street. I will list the name of the consignment store below. Uh, they had some beautiful luxury items and you'll just see here in the video, definitely check this place out. Uh, the staff was so warm and welcoming and everything is organized so well. You guys, I found so many cute items there. You see how excited I was when I found this coat? Oh my gosh. So the tag on it said $1,500 and it was marked down to, I think, $400. And I was like, okay, but that was 400 Canadian dollars. So it was a little bit less with the, um, you know, conversion. And I was like, okay, you know, that's not bad. This coat is so super cute. I could not take it off. So, anyway, I tried it on. Mirror, I got excited about it. The staff got excited about it. <laughs> it was super cute. Bloomers is a little bakery and a vegetarian break bakery, vegan bakery. Eh, I would give it like a six. So after eating all that and having some 
donuts and stuff i figured let me go and work some of this stuff off and go ice skating they had a huge ice skating rink in toronto and it was so much fun so i laced up my skates yes i did travel with my skates and I got out there and I went skating and that was a lot of fun. Obviously that's something that you can only do in the winter there. I'm not sure what's in this particular area other times of the year. So now wrapping up my Toronto trip, the last day and going to grab some food before heading to the airport I went to a place called Planta they have these restaurants in the United States so depending on where you live you can check it out but I found that the menu was just about the same the food was cooked just about the same as here in the States but it was delicious um, so I'm out of here but I promise to be back to Toronto very soon the trip only took about an hour and 40 minutes to get there and it was very easy um, very easy travel very easy to get around in Toronto we rode the um, the light rail the whole time we were there and it was great so you guys I hope you will try uh, out Toronto for a visit and I will see you next week and I'll show you my haul. All right, you guys, have a great one. Take care.